everybody and how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing wonderful. Big hugs, lots of love. Miss you guys so much. Anyway, we have a great big box of support. I've got a big Dior box, my Dior box here guys, my Dior. With all my stuff that I got some from the Ulta, uh, from Ulta sale. I got some stuff from the Sephora sale. Um, we have some new lipstick from Estee Lauder, a new bronzer, a new, I mean, all kinds of good stuff. We got all the good stuff in the box. Um, but if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gabe and I'm a makeup artist. I've been in the industry 30 plus years. I'm still in retail and sales. So I help people, beautiful people just like you try to make decisions based on their personal life and what they're looking for and products that will work for them. And I always give my honest feedback and honest answers back. So hopefully today I will be able to give you that on some of this new stuff that we're getting ready to play with. And um, so if you're interested to see what's in the box and see what's going on, then stick around and let's do it together. And poof, just like that, we are up close and personal. Okay, so um, so I'm up. I've got all my moisturizer on. Skincare is all on. The only thing I haven't done is primer. I'm going to put on a little bit of my Natasha Denona. This is the Face Glow Primer. Um, I know that they don't sell this at Sephora anymore. It's just, I think it's still just on her site. I did see where she's coming out with the new concealer. So, we're going to put this on before we put on the um, skincare product. The, or the actual, the tint that we're going to try today. Um, I got a lot of really cool stuff at Sephora. We got some cool stuff from Ulta. I got some stuff from Estee Lauder. Some ColourPop. Um, a few things we're just going to kind of play with. I'm going to be able to wear all, put out everything on. But I thought we would try on most of it and just see what we thought. Um, so first we want to try is this, um, this is the, um, I'm sorry, I almost dropped it. This is the Born This Way Healthy Glow SPF 30. It's a moisturizing skin tint. It's supposed to have hyaluronic acid, watermelon, um, water and, uh, apple in it. It's supposed to have UVB, UVA. It's supposed to be long wearing. It's supposed to help empower skin's health and radiance. Um, it's got coconut water in it too. So just keep that in mind. If you're allergic to coconut, you may not be able to use this. Um, it's a 24 hour wear vegan all day hydration, non acneogenic. Um, so anyway, it looks pretty cool. I got this in the shade sand, so I got it in sand. And um, I've, I've have been wearing this, so I do have my honest um, feedback on it, which I will give at the end of each one of these little segments that I do. That so you guys don't have to wait till the final thoughts. I just thought that if you want to, I will try to time stamp it down below so that we can just go to the edge straight to that particular spot that you want to see, um, just to see what you want to see. But this is the but this is what the packaging looks like. It's really cute. It looks a lot like the Dior backstage. Um, um, makeup with just like it the bottles just like it it actually i think it's like what a two ounce i think it's a two ounce it's got a lot in it two ounce so that's a lot for a makeup so you've got a lot um it's just got the dropper just like the dior it's just like that like I said, I've been using it quite a bit. So I've tried this many different ways, but I've just found that my hands are the best way to actually use it. So that's what I'm going to do today. So basically, um, I've kind of shaken it a little bit already. You have to make sure that you shake it really good. Um, I have really kind of enjoyed this, guys. It's actually something that I wasn't going to pick up. I saw my girlfriend, Glam Girl Chelsea, you know, she being an influence, you know, being an influencer that she is. Um, she kind of calmed me into it a little bit to try this. I wasn't going to try it because I tried the Too Faced, um, the Born This Way, the Ethereal Concealer and absolutely hated it. But I do love Too Faced. A lot of their stuff I really do enjoy. Um, I also really enjoyed their, um, let's see, what was it that I really, oh, their, their Born This Way Concealer. I love it. I love, you know, I love a, quite a bit of things from Too Faced. Their, their mascara, I mean, there's, there's lipsticks. I mean, they've got some really good stuff. They're two cloud blushes. That's one of my favorite blushes right now. So I thought, well, you know what? I'll give this a chance. So I really overhydrated, which I've been doing when I use this product because I was afraid with the coconut water and the hyaluronic acid that are going to make me look dry. But as you can see, it looks really good. It looks very smooth. It looks, it just really smooths out the skin. It's very nice, actually. It's not a bad tint at all. And actually, it doesn't, um, I said long wear in the beginning, but it's not really, it doesn't really make that claim that it's long wear. It's just more of a skin tint with an SPF 30 in it or whatever. However, I mean, I've realized that it works pretty well all throughout the day, especially if you powder it a little bit, which we will definitely, I will probably be definitely doing that in a little while. Um, 
but you only need a little bit of it. You don't want a lot of it. You don't want to build it either a lot. And I will tell you why, because it will cake on you. Especially if you're dry like me, because I am a very um, dry, I'm, you know, I just turned 52. By the way, thank you so much for all your birthday wishes. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for all your well wishes in the last couple of videos. I just love you guys. You're just awesome. But anyway, thank you for all the birthday wishes. I do appreciate it. Sorry to me got off topic, but I just wanted to thank you guys for that. But yeah, I just, it's just, it's a really good smooth, but you just don't need a lot of it. I've seen people use it with the brush and build it up. I just don't agree with that 100% because I just feel like, it, and with a brush, I just feel like it doesn't, it just kind of sits there. And even if you take a little bit of a, use it with the sponge, the sponge kind of absorbs it. Um, I think it's just better done with your fingers. I think it's just one of those that just, all you need is just to put, a, you know, just a little bit of it. It's just made to even out your skin tone and make it look really pretty. Um, I just don't think it's really made to do all, a lot of heavy, super heavy stuff too. Um, but I'm going to take a little bit on my beauty blender. I've got a little, I've got it damp. Kind of go over it a little bit and just help really smooth it down. Just a little bit. Just to make sure we got it all blended out. Sorry, my hair is a mess. I can't get my hair to do anything. I'm trying to let it grow out a little bit on the top. And it's just in that stage where it just doesn't want to do anything. And if I either put too much product in it or not enough product in it. I don't know. It's just like one of them kind of deals. You guys feel me if you ever cut your hair or if you just, you know, you just have those days where it's just kind of go, doesn't want to work. Today, it's just not want to work. So, I'm just finally like, I'm just like, screw it. I just forget about it. I'm not worried about it. But yeah, it looks really good. It looks, see, it looks really smooth. Looks really nice. You can see it just really smooths out the skin. And um, it just looks nice. I just think it looks nice. Now, I do over-moisturize my skin. I always do. Um, so if you've been following me for a while, you just know that I kind of do that. Um, so, that's just one of the kind of things, one of the things that I do on a personal basis. And I also wear usually most of the time a primer that's a little bit more hydrating. Um, so, it just depends on your skin type. Um, I don't know if I recommend this. 100% for somebody that's oily. Um, if you use a really good oil-free primer or something with a little bit more of a mattifying element to it, it might work out for you okay. I would assume that to me it's a little bit more normal, dry, dry, maybe normal combination, but that's about as far as I would go. I would probably try some of the other Born This Way products if you're, um, if you're looking for something a little bit more on the matte side. I would probably go with that instead. I know that if you're kind of looking for a tint, it's just that this may just not be your option. There's plenty of other tints out there that have a little bit more of a mattifying element to it. Like maybe the Fenty might be better for you, the, um, or one of the other ones might be better, but, um, this is a really good product and I have really enjoyed it so far. Okay, guys, so before I get any more into any more of the Sephora, I just wanted to give a shout out to Refer Brushes. They sent me a whole collection of some of the brushes that I was missing in my collection because you guys know if you've been around me a while, you know that I love my Refer Brushes. And they sent me um, a couple different ones. They sent me, this one is, they sent me number 26. They sent me number 28, which is kind of a little bit more of like a flat one. And then they sent me number, this one, number 28. I'm sorry, did I get 28? 28. I got two number 28. I got two of them. I got, um, and then I got number 24, which is a little bit more of a, more of a blush brush, which I'll be using later. 23. And then I got this beautiful powder brush. This one's like 22. It's a beautiful powder brush. I finally got like a concealer brush. It's number 21. Um, I got two of those and I got number 27. And I also got number 29, which is like a flat brush. So it's kind of like a flat, if you don't know if you can see it or not, but it's really kind of like a little, little mini little brush. But these are just some ones that I didn't have. And I'm glad that they sent me two of extra. I didn't just realize <laughs> I just realized that. I was like, oh, they sent me like two. I wasn't sure. I didn't know about that. So anyway, I'm super, super excited. Thank you, Riffer, so much for sending them to me. I um, also did it on my Instagram, on my story. But I'm real excited because um, today we are actually going to be using one of the concealer brushes for this next product that I got was on the Sephora sale as well as the Born This Way. If I didn't mention that, just... Forgive me, I forget it because I'm all over the place in this video. So just um, just when I do these, I get a lot over the place. So this is the HD Skin. It's the palette, face sculpting palette. Um, she's pricey. She's like this is a um, this is a um, a good this is a good eighty dollars or something like that. Um, typically these palettes are made more for like makeup artists. 
um, and I probably will probably end up recommending for just for a makeup artist, but I mean, you know, sometimes they are kind of fun. Um, but it's supposed to be your concealer, your sculpting, your bronzing, your highlight, everything all in one. So this is what it looks like. You can see that it's got like highlight right there. Um, it has more of your cool tones for contouring. Um, and then it also has some colors for like sculpting and bronzing and concealing too as well. So we're going to kind of play with it a little bit as concealer. We're going to be doing a little bit of everything with it. Um, I probably will do the highlight probably won't be enough for me later on. I'll probably have to do a little bit more. But we'll do some on the skin just to kind of play with it. Um, but I think I want to start off with concealer first. So there's a, this little area up here. You can kind of go in and kind of use it. So we have to kind of mix on a little bit. So I'm going to take a little bit of the light. And I'm going to take a little bit of maybe this peachy shade. Just a little bit one of these. Kind of mixing it together. And I'm just going to go in here and just kind of like lightly tap it underneath. Now it is like a really creamy kind of formula. I've seen a couple different videos on this one. Um, so kind of to see what I, what I thought of it. Uh, oh, somebody actually kind of conned me into it. But it definitely is more of that. Um, it's got that creamy kind of... Um, consistency to it so it feels I mean it feels really nice because I like a creamy kind of consistency to uh, my concealer so I'm taking about four different colors and mixing them together and I'm just gonna pat it out there and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap it on with this brush and then I'm gonna switch brushes because I want to just I want to blend it out a little bit more my BK Beauty brush my Angie hot and flashy brush and I just really love the way this brush really goes to coverage. It's a little bit different than some other concealers. I'm gonna do an eyeshadow base later because I'm gonna do something on my eyes. So that looks really pretty. You know, I think it looks really nice. Let me look at it up close to see what it looks like. Yeah, that's pretty. Um, I think I should have probably got, let me, let me go in with just a tad bit more of the lighter and just brighten that up just a tad bit more. I love cream products, so this is like especially cream foundation. So I really like that. So that's not bad. Kind of like that. <laughs> Thought this had a mirror in it, it doesn't. Um, see what? Let's see what Chucky. Let's see what Chucky says. Um, yeah, I mean it's not bad at all. I mean it was like a, it blended pretty good. I mean um, you just have to try to. The only thing is, is the gimmicky part is trying to make your own shade. So you would have to play with it a little bit to see what really works for you. Usually these kind of products work really well. I do have um, a palette a little similar to this one, but it's the RCMA palette, and the RCMA is not as creamy as this one. This one is more creamier. Like it's got more of a. That one has a little more. What's the word? It's not matte, but it's a little bit more of a natural blurred finish. It's more of a, it's definitely more of a HD. And this one is supposed to be two. Um, but um, this one's definitely more creamier, though. Probably this would be great for photo shoots. It would be great for someone that wants that really um just to kind of where you can kind of touch it up or whatever i don't know how it would wear during the day because again i've not really i've not tried this palette at all this is my first time trying this one um but i think it would be and it's a little you know i want to say gimmicky but for the average consumer i mean this would be very confusing i mean trying to figure out what blends what what do you do with what so if you're not a makeup artist or you haven't been in the industry for a little bit or you don't kind of just understand colors in general it may be a little complicated for you um but you know but it's i mean to me it's not really rocket science to I me mean, you just blend out the color that you want um but for some people that is very confusing and it's just very um overwhelming um, so I don't know. I don't know if it would be a great idea for all or not, but it seems to be going on really nicely. Um, it's a very easy, you know, weekender kind of palette because you can do a lot of stuff with it, obviously. Um, I just don't know, if, again, if you're, how long it's going to last. Like, at this time of year, I don't know with it being getting closer to summer if it's going to be one of those that, you know, that you would, um, that would melt, like melt a lot. Um, you know, but it seems to be doing a good job. I mean, it seems to be really good. I mean, I'm going to take just a little bit of my sponge. I'm going to try just a little bit of, let's see, let's try the shade, this shade here, number three and two. I'm just going to blend this in a little bit over top of that tint. 
and just add a little bit more coverage there over top of it and just see what it does. I have that little red spot here and a little red spot over here where it just get a little naturally blotchy a little bit. So it just it blurs out nicely. I'm gonna dip into, um, I'm gonna take a little bit of this gray shade here, these two shades here, these two here. I'm gonna take a little bit of both of those, which look just like, I'm so sorry guys, I'm not even swatching, but that kind of looks just like that. So they're like a really pretty tone. And we're just gonna go in here and just to create a little bit of a shadow, just to see what, what we think colors because there's only as far as I know there's only one of these palettes there's not um, there's not a few of them so it it depends on your skin tone because this color is the darkest as far as the contour goes I mean you could use this color but you see how much more brown I see it's like that's the darkest that goes so I don't know if you're very, very dark, if you're gonna be able to use this palette. Um, I know they also have a foundation one as well, that's just like this one with different colors. Again, that will be great for a makeup artist. I think that would be great if you're traveling or you're doing different skin tones and stuff, this would be great. Um, it's just, this so far though, I don't know about the consistency on a more oilier skin top. I think if you're more of a, I think if you're more of like a dry skin or maybe just normal, maybe combination, this would be okay. Um, but I don't know if I would say it would be worth if you're a little bit more on the oily side. Because I just don't know if it's going to, it's not going to stay. I feel like it's going to slide. Now, I didn't powder or anything, so I haven't done any powder or anything like that either yet. So, okay, just a little bit more back here. I'm just gonna do this one side so you guys can see, and then I'll do the other one off camera, just so you can see it. So I'm gonna spend a fortune doing this, or a long time doing this. But yeah, I mean, I can see it. I mean, I can definitely see a little bit of a difference, but is it any more different than any of the other control products that I have? Like my Danessa, my Danessa Myrick Balm, or, you know, any of my other, my Charlotte Tilbury wand or any of those kind of sort of things. I mean, is it any different? Not really. It's just in a compact. So, I don't know. Let me do the other side and come back and then I'll kind of give you my final feedback on that. Okay, guys. So, the power of editing. <laughs> and so, here we are. So, I did a little bit of the Lemon Meringue Palette by Honeydew. Um, and so, it's just such a beautiful, little, cute little palette. And I love the way it smells. It smells just like a lemon, like a lemon pie or something. It just smells so good. It smells delicious. So I did a little bit of that. So we did do a little strawberry shortcake look today. So it's really pretty. It turned out really nice. Guys, you got, I got to tell you, this palette is a no. I mean, for concealer, no. Because when I was doing a little bit of powder and everything up over top of it, it was not having it. It started bunching up. It started cracking up. Um, it did not do well. Now, as a bronzer and a contour, it's really beautiful, but as concealer, as far as I'm concerned, especially if you set it with powder, it did not do well. I had to really go over with a setting spray. I really thought I was going to have to start this video all over again, or I was going to just have to start over again. Um, it took a while, but I had to get my skin back to where it should be. Um, but I did, and I managed it, but um, that, I would say no for that. I had to actually go back in with my Givenchy concealer and actually kind of fix and correct some of that. So, just the FYI on that for that. Um, also, I used, um, I got another tube of the Armani. Um, this is the, um, the Eyes to Kill um, mascara. I always think of Eyes to Kill. Yeah, the classic mascara. I love it. It's so great. It's a lengthy mascara. I went and got another one of these. So, I did get this at Sephora because my other one was dried up and she was done. Um, and yeah, so we are getting ready to go into lipstick. I did a little bit of lip liner. I did contour my lips a little bit with that palette. And then I went over with a little bit of, um, MAC. It's the MAC Strip Down, I think. Let me grab it. It's the uh, MAC, yeah, Strip Down. I did a little bit of that because we had two beautiful Estee Lauder lipsticks. And I want to tell you guys, I'm so excited because when I saw this lipstick back in stock again, I thought I was going to freak out because when I used to be a national with Estee Lauder, 
um, they had this shade called Crystal Baby, and then um, and they had it was part of their Crystal Lipstick line, and we're talking about 2003, 2004, something like that. So anyway, um, and I would, and if you guys didn't know, um, I've done some celebrities in the past. I don't talk a lot about it, but I did used to work with Elizabeth Hurley. And one of her favorite colors was Crystal Baby. So, we would use that on her all the time. And she absolutely loved it. Well, then Lauder turned around and changed the name of it to Elizabeth Pink. Well, they kept that for a while till Elizabeth's contract ran out with S.A. Lauder. And uh, um, anyway, Elizabeth, um, you know, when she went away, the color kind of went away. Um, so, they, every once in a while, they'll bring back Crystal Baby, the original. Um, so, they brought it back. And this is in the new, the Pure Color Lipstick crystal this is the best nude lipstick you will ever find ever it is the best it's not too pink it's not too brown it's not too it's just the most creamiest indulgent most beautiful lipstick ever so this is what it looks like in the new tubing like this and um this is the and this is what it looks like is that not gorgeous it is so gorgeous i can't tell you guys it is the most beautiful nude. It is, it's just, I never could find another nude like it. And I was so devastated. It's my favorite nude ever of all time. So it is back and I'm so, so excited. But before I put this one on, I just want to show you the other one. So there was another classic one that they brought back that we used to use on brides a lot. And it's called Pink Parfait. Um, it's 221 and it's also in the same tubing. This is what it looks like. She's a little bit more on the pink side, but it is such a beautiful pink with a nude lipstick or nude liner. It is so pretty. But um, but today, you know, we're it's all about the crystal baby. That's what we're putting on. But we will do pink parfait eventually um, in another video. But I just love this lipstick. Look how pretty this color is. It is just to die for. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's just such a beautiful nude lipstick. It's just so pretty. I absolutely love it. Just adore it. It's so good. The formula is great too. It feels really good. They're just as they're just as creamy as they were back then. It's just a beautiful nude lipstick. Now, I did get um by the way, I meant to tell you the lashes that I have on. This is the stiletto and the Rissa does makeup with BK Beauty. And they are really pretty. They're a little bit more longer, a little bit more than the other ones that I put on, um, I can't remember the name of it. I forgot the name of the other ones that I wore in the other video, but these are really pretty. They're just a little bit longer, a little bit more dramatic, um, but they're really pretty. I do like them. They're really nice. I think it goes nice with this look, um, but these are, that's what these are. Um, so, I got two lip glosses in the Sephora sale. So, this is this is the Anastasia. This is the lip gloss. This one is called Goldie. And then I got another one called Peachy. Um, I've been looking at these in store and they just look gorgeous. This is Peachy. And um, and this one is Goldie. Look how gorgeous those are. They're just really beautiful nude lip glosses. So, I'm going to swatch them for you guys real quick above the lipstick. So, this one is um, Goldie. That one's Goldie right there. Look how beautiful that is. And then this one is peachy. So if you guys love a beautiful nude and you like a little bit of shimmer, this may be just for you. So we're, you know, we're going to have to do the peachy, of course. Oh, that's so pretty. That is gorgeous. That is a beautiful nude. Oh, God, that gorgeous. And it feels great over the Estee Lauder, too. Ooh, A plus for the lipstick. The lipstick and the glosses. A plus for the lips and the glosses. So, so far, we have a winner with the foundation. Um, so far, this is, it's not a hit or a miss. But, you know, it's concealer, no. Contour, other, yeah, this will work. Um, love the eyeshadow palette, which I wasn't really going to review or talk about. But it's, it's really beautiful. Honeydew Cosmetics. You ever get a chance to check them out? Definitely go over that because I have the strawberry shortcake one, the blueberry, um, uh, huckleberry pie. I have huckleberry and I have, um, the lemon is one I did. And then with orange blossom, she's down here in the bottom down there. Um, so, and the, they are black owned brand and, um, and she's a small little business and you should go over and check them out. But if you love little, you know, pops of color or whatever, they're very soft. The pigment is gorgeous. It goes on really beautiful, smoothly, no fallout, no anything really beautiful. Just absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, so we've done everything else. Um, so we, I want to do a little bit of highlight though, before we do blush and I do have a new, I have two new highlighters. 
So one is actually I got off of Amazon. So this is one that's called it's called in 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 for in for me in for me is what it's called. And um, I'll leave code down below. This is the Solar Highlight. This palette was $8 on Amazon. So, you guys are ready for some space alien, slutty space alien. Look at these. I did a little bit right here of this one here, this one, and this one. I did a little bit right there. But, you guys, I mean, you want to talk about super extraterrestrial. Look at that. If you want highlight and you love some slutty highlight, for $8, this is definitely, it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just worth eight dollars um because i don't have any of you know I, I love it when i can find really beautiful highlights it's so hard to find that extraterrestrial type of a highlight and i know a lot of people don't like that but i do once in a while and i do like to have it in my collection so i'm so glad that i did find that um but this this one is the one we're going to put on though this is the estee lauder and this is in the heat wave it's in the bronze goddess um, mine's a little fragile, so I have to be careful, but look how beautiful that is. How gorgeous is this? I mean, just look, I don't want to like tip it over, but look how pretty that is. I'm going to try to, wait a minute, let me try to swatch it in another place. You guys, I'm always, I'm so bad at swatching. I'm terrible at it, but that's what it looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like a beautiful bronzy gold. I thought that would be really pretty. And where you did a little bit of the cream earlier, so I thought we would just tap a little bit of over top of the cream. So, I'm going to take a little bit of a highlighter brush. I'm going to tap just a little bit. And before we do blush, I thought we would just go in and, ooh, ooh, that's pretty. That is pretty. That's beautiful. Oh, my God. That is, that's, that's another level. Estee Lauder, I'm okay. Okay, Estee Lauder. Coming on out with some stuff now. Mm-hmm. That's pretty. That's really pretty. That's a beautiful highlight. So, if you like a really beautiful bronzy highlight and you like it to be kind of classy looking, but you like a little bit of that glow, it's really good. And by the way, it smells delicious. It smells just like the Bronze Goddess fragrance. It smells just like the beach. It just smells like that really, it just smells like the beach. It smells like suntan lotion. It smells so good. It smells just like it. Not that you want your highlight to smell or not, but it smells really good. This is the Juvia's Place Blush, and I got this is in the shade Pink Lady. You guys, if you love the Rare Beauty blushes and you love the the liquids and the blush because they're very pigmented, these are great. There's about, I think there's like maybe, what, 10 or 12 shades of these? There's a lot of them, but look at that. Look at that. That is crazy. Look at the pigment. Look at that pigment. Is that not insane? And that's just a little bit. A little bit of it goes a long way. It is so pretty. They're really super beautiful. They last all day. I have worn this once or twice. Um, but a little bit of it goes a long way. You don't need a lot of it. But if you like a really, if you're looking for a little good liquid blush. And you know, I love the powder blush. The powder blush is one of my favorite powder blushes of the year so far. The Juvia's Place, the Duos. And I love that one. The pink one, I love it. Um, but I wanted to try the liquids because they look so pretty. Definitely worth the money if you want to. And I think they're like $16. Um, they're not they're not super cheap, but I mean, but they're really beautiful blushes. They really are. Um, so, but we've got two more to swatch and then we're going to go in with the, I got the Giorgio Armani. So we have that. So we're going to be playing with that. But I wanted to show you these. So we got the uh, ColourPop. This is the ColourPop blushes. Um, one is um, Oh Dear and one is Silence. I have used these. I love ColourPop blushes. They're so great. These are $14. I got it in Ulta. They were sold out already. I happened to get the last two when I was there. They didn't even have the display out already, and most of the Alice in Wonderland collection was gone. But this is the this is the Oh Dear. It's like a pink, and then Silence is like this really beautiful. It's like this pretty orangey kind of a color. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Silence just here. Now my hand's a little dry because I've been rubbing it, but that's what Silence looks like. Looks really beautiful. It's very pigmented, very. Um, now, this one is a little bit more, she's a little bit more on that lighter side. She's got a little bit more of that Dior-esque type look to it. It's really pretty, but it's 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 definitely for someone that maybe not be dark tone, maybe more lighter skin tone. Um, the silence would work great on any skin tone, but the, but the lighter pink, definitely a little bit more on that Dior side, um, the Dior Show Blush. 
the pink one. But, I mean, but it's really pretty. I mean, they're really great. And I love ColourPop blushes. They're just so good. And they're, they're $14. They're so worth the money. I'm just getting to the point. I don't know what you guys think. But I'm just like, this, first of all, the whole Sephora sale, I wasn't really super enthused. There wasn't anything out. Nothing is coming out that I'm really excited about. The Natasha Denona concealer a little bit. But other than that, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm just a little bit burned around on makeup. I mean, especially with blushes. We have so many blushes, so many bronzers, so many. I mean, how many blushes can one person have, you know? So, I'm just getting, it just gets to a point where you're just like, you know what? We need to back off, y'all. I mean, because it's just a little bit, it gets a little crazy. But with that said, we did get it up another blush. And we picked up one of the Giorgio Armani blushes. This is in the Luminous Silk Glow Blush. And it's in the shade Mystery. I wanted a deeper shade because I have so many peaches and so many pinks like you've seen before. And I'm just, I'm not one of those people that love to keep buying the same thing over and over again. If it's not something that I can add to my collection or I don't have, I don't want to keep the same color over and over again. I want to get new things. But um, this is my first time using it. I have not used it yet. But this is the shade Mystery. Ooh, isn't she pretty? It's so pretty. And, you know, I've heard really good things about these. So, I'm going to swatch a little bit right here on my arm. Ooh, she's very pretty. And she does have a little bit of a luminosity to her. A little bit. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a glow. But look how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? I didn't have a really pretty plum blush. A plum blush. I looked and I was like, I was like, wow, I really don't have a really pretty plum blush. But that is really super nice. Really beautiful. So, I'm going to take a very, I'm going to take a Refer 19 brush. We're going to take one of these. A very light one. I'm just going to lightly tap in here. Because I'm already, I don't want to be too overflushed, but, but, you know, since we did more of a nude lip, I can do that. That's why I wanted to do one of a nude lip. So, I'm just going to pat that over top of that Estee Lauder. We're going to press it in. Then, I'm going to come back over with a little bit of a sponge. Because sometimes I get a little, I get a little blush heavy, a little blush happy. <laughs> We're just going to blend that in. Because typically, this particular blush probably wouldn't be one that I would reach to go with this look. But, um... You know what? I ain't mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. I knew I was going to love this color. I knew that I was going to love it because it's just a really beautiful, it just, for some reason, plums just do really well with my skin tone. And you know, if you guys know, you know, I love me some burnt looking skin. So I love that burnt, sun-kissed, really beautiful look to the skin. That's beautiful. That's just, that's stunning. That's a really pretty blush. Oh, I'll definitely use this, especially in the winter. I'll use this one a lot. But I don't know. I might use this one in the summer, too. This is a great summer blush, too. Really. All the colors looked really pretty. By the way, I did try to spruce up my hair a little bit. I don't know if I did a good job, but I tried. <laughs> I don't know if I did a good job, but I tried. But, yeah, that's really pretty. Well, this turned out to be not so bad, especially with the, dis but with the disaster that was going on with mine. I was like... Wait a minute, this is getting ready to be a disaster. So I'm telling you. I was like I was a little concerned. A little concerned. But this is really pretty. It turned out really nice. I'm gonna do a little bit of we're gonna do a little bit of powder and I'll be right back. This I mean, one of the last things that I bought at the Sephora sale was the uh, this is the one size on till dawn waterproof mattifying setting spray i have the um huda beauty resting boss face absolutely love this it does make my skin feel tight it does have alcohol in it it is fragrance um you know she did design this she did this she came out with this way before patrick did um but they're both designed to give this extra hold it's to make it waterproof it's based off of you know beauty pageant then when um drag queens would use it um to help to keep their makeup on that was what this was designed after because they would use hairspray um so that's kind of the idea with this one i mean it also leaves a matte finish <coughs> excuse me it also leaves a matte finish as well um, but I'm going to try it again. Um, so this one, it's supposed to be, it's, it's all over TikTok. It's all over. Um, you know, I would just, I, it smells a little bit like it. This, um, I've only used it once or twice. It's, it is fragrant. They smell almost the same, really, to be honest. I was looking at the, um, ingredient. And, um, I think, I feel like they are very much the same. Now, I will say the Huda makes me feel a little bit drier, but I do love it, and it does do a good job. It does stay on all day, um, but this one, we're going to start to play with a little bit more, but it's not bad. I mean, you know, 
it's definitely for someone that wants something that's going to be more waterproof, something that's going to make it stay. I don't know if I would go as far as blurring goes or as far as, you know, that it's going to do all this mattifying throughout that or whatever. It, I think it would just keep it on better. I don't really think it's going to do all of that. Um, but it is a good spray, but you can definitely feel the alcohol in it because it has the alcohol in it too. And it has, there's like one or two other things in it too. They, they both feel just very similar to hairspray really. Um, but they both work and they both do work and everything. And I'm, I'm getting lower on this one and I was going to pick this one up again. And then I thought, since this one kept selling out over and over again, I thought I would try it just to see what I thought of it. But I do like it. I mean, I do like it. It's really beautiful. Overall, the whole look turned out really beautiful. I love the lips. The lips are just driving me crazy. They're so pretty. Um, but the look, the eyeshadow, the little lemon meringue palette, you know, she's so cute. And she's back here in the back. There she is, back in the back. My family, my family in the back. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Um, you know, make sure that, um, you know, if you're, while you're here, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure that you subscribe. I would love to have you. We would love to have you because we are a little family here. And I would just love to have you as part of our family. If you didn't like this video, then I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you know, you just have to give it a thumbs down or <laughs> whatever makes you happy. Um, you know, but if you stayed this long, we're so glad that you stayed. And, um, you know, and with that said, guys, remember to be safe, be strong, be proud, thin, tall, love yourself. Remember to tell somebody that you love them today because life is way too short. And also remember, be kind to someone today because being a little kind to someone can make anybody's day. Um, and also remember just to be happy, laugh, you know, have a good time. And um, with that said, guys, we will see you again in the next episode. Look for, for some shorts because they will be coming out soon as well. And um, we will see you again later. Take care. Bye. Mwah.